All right, so for those of you watching, I just found out that you can actually fast forward or rewind via five seconds with the arrow keys. But they told me that, but it doesn't work with the software that I'm using. At least I don't think. We'll give it a shot today. We talked about Jared Goff, and a lot of people are still trying to give us a quarterback with when it comes to the NFL draft in 2023. And we talked about Jared Goff, and this is, this is the last breakdown that I'll do this year, quote-unquote breakdown. But it's, it's a play when I saw it. I, I absolutely love this play, and I thought that it was – it showed that Jerry Goff still has it and that you have to build a team around his strength, the game plan around his strength. What was Jerry Goff's strength in, with the Rams? Play, action, pass. Jared Goff is not going to create a bunch of plays on his own. He's not that quarterback, and that's okay. That does not bother me one bit, that Jared Goff is not that, that type of quarterback. But this is a very critical first down and 10. This led to a touchdown that wind up putting the Detroit Lions up after they had been trailing the entire game. It is 8.55 in the first quarter. And Jared Goff, they're leading down a first down and 10. This is the play to Khalif Raymond. But I want you to watch this play. Man, I wish I could rewind by five seconds. That would be fantastic. Play action pass is Jared Goff's strength, and that's what we need to do. We're going we're gonna to run this play. Play action pass. Now, he's going to go to Khalif Raymond. And Khalif Raymond is right at the top of the screen, right in the middle of the screen, okay, right by the 40, the 39-yard marker or so. But the beautiful part about this play that is what Jared Goff does, and when he threw this thing, I'm like, are you kidding? He's going to continue to roll left. Okay, now at this point, I'm thinking he's about to throw across his body. And in real time, it kind of looked like he did. But he actually set up and was able to plant his feet before he, th he threw. Gets the ball off. And Khalif Raymond had broken ribs at this point. He's got the defender by at least four or five yards. And he's going to make a play for it right there. Now, let me see if this works. I don't think it's going to. Nope, it doesn't work with this software that I'm using. Which would be fantastic if it did. But we're going to go back again. There, let me pause this real quick before the NFL shuts this down. I'm going to go back here. All right, so first down and 10. Again, Jared Goff's strengths is play action, play action pass. That's what we need to continue to do. So Khalif Raymond, again, is in the middle of the screen right there. Right now he's at the first where you see the first and 10. And I thought that, again, Jared Goff threw this when he was across his body. But he sets up and is able to get it off. And he didn't really put a ton of power into that. Like, that wasn't all his power. The rush was coming down on him, so you could see that he wanted to make sure he got this thing off. Right? So I want, okay, I have to be very careful here. I'll run this one last time. So play action, rolling, throws it, and there you have it, right? So Jared Goff's strengths is play action pass. That's his, that's his strength. With that catch, Khalif Raymond had broken ribs. He, they got broken earlier in the game. It was a first down reception, got blasted by a defender, did a little spin, and I knew he was hurt at that point. But even then... He was able to dive and catch that pass. So Jared Goff, he does have it, man. He still got it. You just have to build to his strengths.